Howdy and welcome back to Average Hobby's Let's Play of Tyranny, or Tyranny episode 38, have you see it? Okay, we're going to leave off last time. I guess I was going to talk to this dude. May the sounds of peace and the of rings both follow you in all things. Oh, maybe I already talked to him. What can this whole food do for you? Can I ask you some questions about Lavin's Crossing? If you have questions about uh, uh, our settlement, I'm the one to... Oh yeah, I already done him, haven't I? Oh, I was halfway through doing him. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got all this to get through. Okay. Well, can you tell me about the Spear and Laffin's Crossing? There's no getting used to it. You think that after years of living under its shadow, your nerves would calm. But that never happened for me. You can only be so relaxed when your neighbours are the bane. The moment you let your guard down around one of those old walls. My friend, you're done. Don't know what I'm saying. I almost said dune. You're done. Dune, dune. It's done. Now Levin wasn't completely mad to settle here. She ventured inside and found sealed passageways that made it impossible to wander too far beyond the entrance. She figured that meant that the Bane couldn't easily reach us. Eva, however, created this monster, mo mon monastery, not monster, monastery, wanted us to stay out. Exactly what we've done. Whoever created this monastery wanted to stay out. Okay, got you. Hasn't been a perfect arrangement. They've been incidents. He grimaces at the... Recollection, recollection. Fuck around at my words. Rack collection. This is like me last night. I was trying to record IWD, my Pro Snex uh, show with my wife and that. Uh, and I went blank because I did the announcement for it. I went blank what an apron was. The start of it was like, he threw his head into the. The. And my wife's there like, skirt. No, it's not skirt. It's, you know what it is. It's stuff like this. <laughs> I can remember. I hate when it happens when you like. You know, you can read it perfectly, you can see it, your head knows what it is, but it just won't come out of your mouth. Or in that case, like, like from last night, I just couldn't think what the word I wanted was. It's like, oh, it's one of the most annoying things in the world. You know the word, you can visualise it in your head, but it just will not come out. It's like, ah, it's right there. I can taste it, I can torture it, but it won't come out. It's, ah, frustrating. Anyway, but for the most part, the Bane don't venture out so long as you don't venture in. We just have to stay vigilant every day. Can I enter the old worlds? Let me ask you something now. Must you enter? Surely there's another. He stops himself, adopting a less confidential tone. Nobody will stop you, Faithfinder, if that's what you mean. If you have business inside, I can only assume that it must be important. It must be a important matter. The old worlds are unpredictable, uh, plain and simple. The bane may leave you be today, but I'm not the sort to gamble when it comes to those um, abom abominations. Hmm. Tell me your thoughts on the Bronze Brotherhood. They were here since the crossing was founded. Levin and himself hired them to protect the settlement when it was just getting started. A fledging town in the shadow of old walls. They did such a good job. She kept them on as our peacekeepers and that's how things went. They're, uh, they're a good enough sort, but when Niret offered to pay them to help Karas forces, I knew we were in for some trouble. Taking pay from two employees is always going to end badly if you can't make both of them happy. On top of it all, it seems lately that... What the fudge? Ratigmana. I guess like com, com, common, but we're ratin and we have to see. Ratigman? Ratigman? Yeah. Is following a path only he could see, and I'm not looking forward to what he finds at the end. Tell me what you think about the disfavored. I'm not sure what to say, honestly. I have heard rumours that the disfavored are a tough, disciplined crew, but the Bronze Brotherhood were able to force them out of the crossing without much trouble. I'm sure there must have been extraordinary circumstances, but until I see something to change my mind, that's how I feel. Have you... Uh, how have you in interaction with Scarlet Coast been? Oh, how have your interactions been? Can't say that I've had a strong opinion one way or the other, really. They didn't seem to care much about leaving the settlement behind. They put up what seemed to be a token resistance when the Brotherhood drove them out. But once they left, I haven't really seen much of them. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need directions around here. Alan laughs and put, put, up, uh, and put a hand on your shoulder. Oh, and put, what? Alan did laugh, so he laughs. Ha 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 ha. And put a hand on your shoulder. Should be he puts a hand on your shoulder. Not, and put a hand on your sh that doesn't seem good English to me and put a hand on your shoulder I guess maybe yeah I think puts is better isn't it and puts a hand on your shoulder sounds better puts with an S puts a hand on your shoulder 
Anyway, I completely understand the crossing can be a bit imitating. The first time someone arrives, but it's not as complicated as it looks. The river is named Portscore, Portscore, <laughs> and it flows down the middle of the settlement. The waterfalls pouring over the old walls are sunrise and moonshine. Mo moonshine, moonrise, sunrise and moonrise. That makes more sense. <laughs> Then moonshine. I don't know where I got moonshine from. Apparently he wants a drink or rather what? <laughs> moonshine. The West Waterfall is sunrise because of how the sun hits it in the morning and the moonrise got its name due to how it glows during the full moon. Okay, pretty obvious. The crossing itself is broken up into districts named after uh, the waterfalls. The west side of the rivers is the sunrise district and the east side of the river is the moonrise district. Okay, so what's that? The west. So, so nerdy elephant squid west. So water, west that way, uh, that way, sunrise district, and the east side is the moonrise district, so naughty elephants on this one, east. The different levels of Lavin's Crossing don't really have names, but uh, most people refer to them as the tiers. My home is considered part of the, the ground tier, the forge is on the first tier, both in the moon, moonrise district. I have other questions. What can I, in this old fool do for you? That's it, I believe. Alright then, let's leave. Nice. Got some good info for that, dude. Using a syllable in combat happens instantly. It doesn't send your character into recovery. Once the consumer is used, all consumers are on cooldown for a short duration. Ooh, interesting. Come on, load the screen. Load a little bit faster. A little bit harder. You know you want to. Come and do it. The artwork's pretty neat. It's about to just take so long to talk about the artwork, but now we'd move on. Okay. Okay, where haven't I checked now? So it's checking down these. Um, I think I've checked all these now, haven't I? Sorry, I can't. I think I haven't checked. Oh, I haven't checked that's probably. Oh, here's, oh, here's, I see, the river. I haven't been in here yet, I the main thing. That's what he's saying, so. Naughty element squirt water. So this is one side, this is the other side. It's a space bar to pause and unpause the game during combat. To issue orders to your party members and what's gone too fast. Hello, PayPal. Oh, no, I've been in here, right? This isn't uh, Smith, is it? No, this has got food, this ain't Smith, is it? Who can I talk to? No. Hmm, whatever that is. And that one. Okay. Quiet down. Oopsie. <laughs> Went stealthy. He's our true leader. Talk to him if you need something. <laughs> Why are you doing the talking? It should be me. You can find a lot of trade goods here in Leffen's Crossing. Pansy lives closest. Sarah and Sarah stands here surrounded by a group of villagers. She speaks to them in soft, uh, dullic tones, holding them hypnotized with her hand motions. Her headdress flashes as she speaks, and you are on you are unable to tell if it's a trick or the light or the gem in it is actually glowing. She is swept up in her or that oration and seems completely unaware you arrived. Uh, oration? A ration? I guess with these looking at her. There is a lull in her conversation and she opens her eyes. Oh, she was had. So basically, she's there with her eyes shut, like a. or something like that. Or I'm moving her hand. I've moved my hand in front of my face, let's do that, by the way. And then they're just like, oh, oh, yeah, she's like a goddess or something, I guess. Oh, she's performing in there. Ah, great entertainment, clap, clap, clap. And she opens her eyes and sees me. Well, look who's here. Oh, she gets to talk. And what brings you to Lethian's Crossing? Can't imagine it's the scenery or the quaint locals. Have you come to spoil my fun? Huh? She found a little monastery lost in thought. What do you mean? Spoil your fun? Who are you? Tunan probably insisted you find me, didn't he? Did he? Because we can't let Siren have any fun, can we? Let's control her. Let's tell her what she can and can't do. Who are Let's you? Let's use her to destroy nations. Okay, you a faith binder like me. 
Trinity Advocate in Arkham Justice, ruler of the Conquered Realm and the Advent of Dispute, oldest of the Arkans sent to conquer the Tears, Tuna speaks with Karras, Authority, his true appearance remains hidden behind the eye mask. Oh, so he's the, the red person. <laughs> but enough of that talk. What do you think of my followers? One, two, three, four, five. Um, his hair do needs to turn out. Bit punky. She looks a bit dopey. Um, I guess she looks okay. Um, her head looks a bit too round. He looks a bit too old. Um, I guess you got one out of five. Not bad. What do you think of my followers? Uh, well, I've got a guy who hates my guts and will kill me as soon as uh, this war thing's over. I've got um, oh yeah, you. He was a bit punky too, but she can slit your throat like that. And I... Where's the other dude? Oh, him down here. And I've got the old guy who loves the sound of his own voice. I think I'm beating you. <laughs> Very nice, as long as you don't let it get out of hand. You shouldn't be doing this, Sarah. These people don't truly love you. You're manipulating them. <laughs> oh, stop that, Fate Binder. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. Well, at least not yet. <laughs> she laughs. The feeling in the room... Borrows your smile without even realizing you wanted to. Enough of this, Siri or Siren. I'm just Siri, like a witcher. Siren, whatever her name is. I want you to join me. Someone with your power needs help directing it. Stop the emotional manipulation. Now you're coming with me so I can keep an eye on you. Hmm. That one. Why on earth would you want that? I can't imagine you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart. Oh. Tunan must have had a hand in this. Or Narat. Maybe I'd rather stay here where people won't insist on ordering me around all the time. Unless I'm missing something. I don't think anyone sent me for you yet. Maybe after I'm supposed to be going there first and I went here first. Maybe when I get there, they'll send me for you, but currently it hasn't happened. Although, you did activate one of the spires, so mm -hmm. the power is something I could learn from. And yep. You are right. Certainly not going to make any significant advances staying here with a bunch of nobodies worshipping me. Watching you in action could give me the edge I need to unlock a spire of my own. Fine. I will allow you the glorious gift of my presence in your party. Nice. Fine, I will allow you the glorious gift. Come with me, Siri. Well, then let's go. If you're going to teach me the wonders of the world. Great, so that's five people. Beautiful. Oh! I feel like, seriously, I gotta take someone out. That sucks. <clears throat> because it's made by the same people as Pillars, isn't it? And Pillars has six, I think, in their party. Oh, that sucks. Oh, who do we get rid of? But what is she? That's the question. And can I go back and change this when I want? Because <clears throat> he's my tank, he's my healer. She's damaged a bit like me. I guess it's her, but I kind of like her best out of everyone in the group. Ah, oh, this is sucks. This kind of sucks. I like her best out of all of the group members because he just hates my guts. And he's the healer. But what can she do? Can she be a healer? Is there a way to, to check her? Okay. Be can seeing I... you, Fatebinder. Here to serve. Be seeing you, Fate Okay, Binder. hopefully... Let me see if we can... Can bring them back. I'm hoping I can swap when I want. Okay, please say I can swap them back when I want. Well, I'm sure you can't do it when you're in combat, but. Um. Fudge, how'd you do it? Are these all literally these top things. Um. That's for spells. What's this? This is just quests. How do I swap back to him? Seems a bit silly. I can't. Or does he stay here? Or have I just lost him by doing that? Sure, go. I was going to say it before I did that. 
I'm going to save it under a different name now, though. Okay, it all saved there. Um, when it entered. What's this? So what can she even do? Okay, she has spell. Can she be a tank? That stuff. She has one in there. False. Because I want to be able to bring it back if she's horrible. She's got three points I can add. I have two actually. this color you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end the episode here and I am going to reload that little save off channel and I would just be and then look online to see how to swap members back and then depending if I can or not I'm gonna stick with him for a while or come back for her because I'm a bit at the moment. So, like, subscribe, good stuff, and tune next weekend. We'll find out what I did. Bye for now, everyone. Bye, take care. Bye.